What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 in the Pirate playthrough. So we are on Chaos 5 and this should be my last Chaos 5 map. Uh, you see I'm at 3740 champion score. I need to get to 3800 to get the job done so I'm super super close. And here we are on Little Horn Valley. Now I'm going to do the old fashioned turtle build here on Little Horn. Now, a few changes. I don't have the range that we used to have, so I can't put the cannons all up top here where I like to. However, I found that this build is still pretty effective and able to get the job done. So we're going to focus this run on cannonballs and poison dart towers. Now, I did find explosive poison and I got mixed emotions on it. It cost a fortune to upgrade this bad boy. But I went on and upgraded it anyway, just to get a little bit extra damage and get that poison passing around. And then we're going to go with some Skyguard Towers, uh, no shards, and this Storm Servo. And then uh, moving it on over. Now this is that beast that I've been upgrading, and as soon as I get to Chaos 6, I'm going to do the same thing. So getting ready to fly through it all with Melee Boom, Anti-Melee, and Defense Rate Servo. On this, I mean, obviously, junk quality mods, uh, still no destruction. I got deadly strikes and stun fire on here, and we're gonna be going along with some spike blockades with melee boom, anti war servo. Not that those are gonna do anything for me, and then an unupgraded panic sh fire and explosive guard just because shards, yep, they're in there. Now, just in case, I did get this uh, shard here. Now, just in case I do ever decide to add an EV to this account, I'm going to save that shard because I don't want to go hunting for it later, and it is huge for the proton beams. Now, just like Chaos 4, Chaos 5 took me a lot of maps to get through, which means Onslaught is definitely the way as far as faster progression. And in fact, Onslaught 24 is going to put you in Max C6 gear, which will unlock Chaos 7. So, without a doubt, you're going to want to skip Chaos 4, 5, and 6 in Trials and head on over to Onslaught. But just for the sake of discovery, I'm playing this one all the way through just in Expeditions. Pardon me, I said Trials earlier. Expeditions, even. That's the ones. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now, first things first, let's get some Skyguard action going. I think I'm going to put it. Hmm. I think I'm just going to put it right there. And then for these two lanes, not having any range is definitely putting the hurt on me. Now, I do have, uh, I, my ascension level's gone up quite a bit. I'm at 71 ascension now. Going through the trials route, I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to get there. Before I made it at about 120 ascension, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be past 120 before I get Chaos 7 unlocked for the very first time but we'll see here it's just been taking a ton of maps to run through and you're getting a lot of ascension which is a good thing however you know in an effort to try to do the do a challenge and go with low ascension that's not really an option right now all right now i'm going to put these uh poison dart towers just dangerously close as i do have just junk range so i'm going to get these as close as i feel comfortable getting them um, they're too close, period. So hopefully things are getting destroyed off the walls real nice and fast and I don't have to worry too much about these PDTs. And then we're going to ball it out. I think we'll be able to go three in every lane and four in the last lane maybe? Let's see here. Now, straight up turtle build. Uh, the bad part about this build is if you lose a wall and things go bad, oh, you are done for. <laughs> no doubt about it. The core is right there. And in fact, if I don't keep an eye on javelin throwers, they will put a hurting on the core as well. And once again, done for. So the turtle build is nice and it's fun, but can get a little sketchy at times. That's for sure. Now, all right, I think just for my sanity, I'm going to upgrade these two outer walls. And then let's get it going here and see how it holds. I didn't do a test run on this one. I'm assuming it's going to work. I've been mainly grinding dungeon maps, 
to make sure I had enough materials ready to go when it comes time to upgrade that relic again. Just gonna try to be aggressive and get as much damage in as I can here. As there's gonna be a lot of mobs in you know next wave, of course, the sub objectives open up, so even more mobs. Now as you see that 177,000 health, and that is making assassins a complete no-brainer. So I've actually got hero health on almost every piece of gear. In fact, it may be every piece of gear, which is not intended. It's just these were the highest champion score or gear score items I found. So of course I'm uh, focusing on that champion score, that way I can get to the next tier. Now, I could have just upgraded through only 60 points, um, a few upgrades. Once again, though, I'm going to try, I'm trying to save as much of that uh, upgrading and skipping for later. So, I am doing that relic, and that is really about it. These cannons are just destroying those assassins with the stun. It's just a matter of you've got to have enough health to live through them. I remember back in the day when Chaos 5 used to be the cap, I always tried to make sure that I didn't come into Chaos 5 with less than 60,000 health. Now obviously you can get away with it a lot earlier, however the assassins are going to be more of a problem the lower your health is. And I still, you know, there's lots of tips and tricks on how to deal with assassins, but I still stand by the statement that the assassins number one counter is hero health as if you just stack the hero health up you're going to be able to survive through them and let your defenses do all the work it's like we're just about there a few upgrades should make this go a little bit smoother and these walls are taking a pounding so i definitely at least want to get all of them up to tier two for certain I'll probably do the outside ones up to tier 3, in fact. But I want to, uh, you know, I want to get my... Oh, crap. I already did it. Alright, well, it's in. I want to get all the Boom Boom all jacked up here, as it's doing all the work, so... If it's doing all the work, it deserves all of the mana. That is for sure. Now, this lane is weak. Hmm... Maybe I'll put that last hundred in over here. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right, PDT upgraded. What can you do? Now, I'm assuming... Depend, I didn't look at the boss. If it's a cleave boss that's coming, all those towers are going to get destroyed. So I do want to make sure that I'm, I'm paying attention to them. Um, if it's any other boss, I'll probably be okay. And then, of course, remember, we've got that one geode to start wave four and one geode to start wave five. So if I don't go and manually kill them with all these cannonballs, now if I had piercer servo on here, it wouldn't be an issue. However, I do not. I didn't want to, I wanted to be able to use this relic that I'm upgrading on multiple defenses, depending on what tier it is. And I didn't want to lock in to just using it on one or two different defenses. Oh, it's a cannon ogre. See if we can get this guy burnt down. There we go. Very nice. Now he put a hurting on the wall, but I guess that uh, that mistaken upgrade was a good thing over there. It saved the day with the cannon editor, that's for sure. It probably wouldn't even take me a full run. Uh, to get over the hump, in fact. If I get just one or two good drops, that'll make that 60 champion sh score up really, really quick. Just trying to spread it out, and I don't want to go too far away from the very front of my cannons here, as, you know, assassins are the real deal, even with 170,000 health. Looks like we are getting it done. This lane over here 
has a bunch of ranged mobs in it, so I'm going to want to be conscious of that. And then, so easy to ignore this lane here, but this lane over here is actually taking on two lanes and being off in the corner. It's easy to not pay attention. So I want to make sure to stay focused on this lane as well as I want to get Chaos 6 going. In fact, I want to get it going right now. As soon as I get done with this map, I want to go do it. Alright, let's see here. I think uh, this time... What did we get? I got most of the cannons upgraded actually, just not the ones, all the ones on the far side. Looking good. 800 left, so quite a bit left. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. Make sure that I'm not neglecting this lane. So this is actually my strongest lane now. And I do want to put a little bit more love over here. As this is where I'm fighting and assassins are assassins. Alright, so we got a steam roller, or a siege roller, a steam roller. Let's hope it's not a steam roller. And then we got Grimlock, so let's go ahead and make it happen. Now I do have that construction shard in, so a siege roller, I can repair through a siege roller if there's not too much other stuff going on. If there's a bunch of other stuff going on, then of course that could be a problem for me. Wave 3 though, 400 bombs, they got a long way to run, is another one of the downsides to turtle building this map, is it does make the map take a really long time, as the mobs have to walk a long, long way where they're not taking any damage. You got just that nice straight lane here, it's just so, so tough to uh, resist just blowing all your mana here on the Huntress. The assassins are just a non-issue now uh, with that hero health. I would love to be able to get off another uh, Flaming Phoenix though. Man, these javelin throwers have got to go. And any hex throwers I see as well just have to go super, super fast. Run. Siege Roller is coming. He's got a long way to go, so that's a plus. Um, in fact, I may be able to clear everything else out prior to having to mess with it. We'll have to see here. There is a bunch of javelin throwers behind it, it looks like, so maybe I should go back there and uh, get a little damage in. Well, this Lady Orcs and everything pushing, it's making it difficult too. Come on, cannons, get that assassin off me. There we go. Alright, nice. So the javelin thrower's passed. Oh, damn, another assassin. So many assassins on this map. I mean, of course it is the introduction of assassins here, so, you know. You'd expect it to be heavy, but this is just crazy. Okay, Gribbs is almost dead. Gribbs down. And I don't, I'm not going to have enough mana. Oh, yeah, losing a spike blockade on the other side. Better see what's going on over there. It actually looks like it's handled now, so I'm just going to leave it. And there we go. Very, very nice. Some decent loot, really. Alright, let's get that spike blockade back down over here. Hmm, I think I'm going to throw one more upgrade on it. In this lane still, it's just so easy to ignore, so... Since I just keep ignoring it, I think I'm going to throw some more ups around. 
What do we got this way? We got Gribs again and a Cannon Ogre. Youch! Alright, let's make it happen. Just gonna stay aggressive on this lane. I, I need to be in a position to deal with that Cannon Ogre. Uh, as soon as he comes out, I need to start putting damage on him. I can take one shot right now on my walls, but I can't take two. And, uh, you know, it's nice to not have Cannon Ogres one shot in your wall, but one shot, two shot, I mean, it's just not, not a significant difference. If I was to the point where I could take three or four shots, then, it, you know, it wouldn't be an issue. Oh, wow, that spike blockade is down already. Oh, it's the Geode. The Geode that I forgot about. Ah. And here I said it twice through the course of the map. Don't forget the Geode. And now I'm screwed here. I am the wall. Oh man, I lost the wall over here now as well. Stupid Geo, man. Alright, well, I gotta kick it here. I mean, I'll keep an eye on the other side as well, but I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to muscle through here. I just need to keep the mobs back. I don't want them cleaving. Or taking any shots, because if you know, if a mob goes up there and takes one melee swing at one of those cannons, all that stuff is dying. Alright. That's right, little cannons. Get them off me. Alright, let me run back over here and give a little support. Such a derp. That is. I, I'm just amazed that I'm surviving this wave so far. No, it's not over yet. There's 200 mobs, but you know what I'm saying. That was just really bad. Whew. Go, go, kids. trouble here. As long as there's not another mage, I might make it. If there's another mage, I'm screwed, because they're going to... They're, the skellies are going to rest just right on top of it. Yeah, I think I'm in trouble here. Gribs is just going to keep on walking here. Or maybe not. Lucky stun proc. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. Woof. Alright, we got a stuck mob here, but it looks like... It looks like we're gonna survive. As soon as we get another, a little bit of mana left, I think I can take care of those mobs, but... Wow, that was just ugly. All started with the Geode. The curse of the Derpy Geode. It actually held really strong right in this area. That's surprising. I'm not missing that damn Geode in Wave 5, let me tell you. I'm just saying. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Alright, they're finally coming out, it looks like. Or one of them did. Alright, so here we go. Now, I'm not going to make that mistake of dumping so much mana into this wall over here this time. And instead of doing that, I'm going to dump it into these defenses. Hmm. Let's leave it at that. 
All right, now what am I missing here? Missing a poison dart tower in the middle. And then a cannonball. And then I think that is it. Yep, 20 left, so. Wow, wasn't able to really put any upgrades on uh, my sky guards here. All right, let's upgrade the, both of these walls, actually. Not quite enough. Now, what do we got? We've got Quibbly here. We've got a Siege Roller th there. And then we've got Griblock and Skarnash. And then there's my Geode. Now, there is only one Geode in Wave 4 and one Geode in Wave 5. So, and it does come out at the very front of the pack, which is nice. Because you could just come up here and just wreck that geode up front and then continue on continue on your business, so you know, and, and get the rest of the map cleared. Alright, I think I'm gonna have to hold that 76, just not enough for another upgrade here. So let's get into position for the geode here, and as you see, it is rolling out. Throw oh no, assassins really? Alright, let's try this again. Yeah. I didn't get it all the way down, but we run that assassin back over here. That's once again where the hero health saves the day. And now I could be in trouble because it is really close here. Oh, I just barely got it. Woo! Because those cannons would reflect just directly back to the core. So, just got to get that geode down, because the geode is the only thing that can hurt you if you don't have that piercer servo mod when you go cannonballs PDTs. I mean, this map, it was the original Chaos 5 cannonball PDT farm map. When Chaos 5 was the top, this is the build that or something similar to this is what a lot of people farm this map with. And still works. Right, I do not have a life leech. I better throw a heal on myself here. It's definitely a lot of mobs. There's still 273 left, so I mean, it hasn't. It's like, it's not a joke or anything yet, that's for sure. And then I've got that Siege Roller to attend to uh, with as well. Oh, and those mages in the back, I tell you. And about to lose a wall here. Lost it. Which is bad news, really, because it's the roller lane. I needed that wall there. Wow, just getting beat up. I'm just gonna ignore Quibbly. Oh, it's Quibbly, not Gribs. Go, go, Cannonball Stun. Get the job done for me. All right, not pretty, not even remotely pretty. These mages in the back are what's killing me. Every lane's got them. Six bads left, and then it's good game. And it looks like it's six stuck mobs, so they're gonna roll out what, one at a time if they roll out at all.
Here we go. Oh wow, you see those cannons are critting over a million right now. Even without having destruction. Just such a good defense. Such a heavy hit and single target defense. And there we go. So that was hopefully my last Chaos 5 run. Of course, Chaos 6, we get the transition, just like we would like we did from Chaos 2 to 3. Uh, Chaos 5 has cyborgs, Chaos 6 doesn't. So Hopefully, this is enough to get me off to Chaos 6. So let's go ahead and grab all the loot. We'll head back out to Tavern and check out that champion score once we get everything auto-collected up here. Chaos 1 shard pack? Nope. Heck, I'd even be stoked to see a vampiric empowerment now. Um, I think that could be up next. Defense rate, I mean, all the shards, you know, defense rate, deadly strikes, and destruction are three of the most used shards in the game. I would love to have them. But Vampiric might get the job done for me in a pinch. Icefall, not going to help me. Cthulhu's influence. All I'm getting is shards for other heroes. I do wish that Trendy was able to implement something like that where the shards would, uh were not quite so random. I mean, getting shards really for nothing but DLC heroes, it just makes me wonder exactly what it is going on there. It's just very, very strange. All right, here we go. And there we go. We're way over the hump. There it is, Champion of Expeditions Chaos 6. And we will be headed to Chaos 6 next. So thank you all so much for watching. Click that like button. Please subscribe. And I will be back soon with more Dungeon Defenders 2. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.